Hello there, this is Ben Farner. Here's more secret files to Angaska. We're in Antarctica, not Outpost 31, but some other place that's also really cold and needs more flamethrowers in the game. Anyway, Antarctica Station. So we're here, and the jerks were being jerks, so that's what they do. Um, let's see here. There's a journal entry if we want to read it. So betrayed, China Himalayas, Max didn't show up to the rendezvous with Nina. Has he only been using her the entire time? Nina has set off in search of the forgotten drops of thing. Another betrayal somewhere out in the cold. Nina has actually found one of the legendary drop artifacts, but she isn't the only one who has achieved her goal. Apparently Oleg has also been using her. She got the information that Max was using her from Oleg, so she'll eventually figure it out. For now, she's all sorts of betrayed though. So, shower room. Nana wakes up in the bathtub. Check the camera above her. I can't reach it. A video camera in the bathroom? I wouldn't want to take a shower in here. Yeah, that would be horrific, but um... This thing helps unclog stopped up toilets. We can probably whack the camera with it. Who knows. Let's see. Apply plunger to camera? Will that work? No, we can't do that. Oh well, take um, plunger from right of room and some toilet paper from the sink. Apparently we're... that's the uh, hand towels as well as the toilet paper. And you gotta use what you gotta use. So there's that apparently. Maintenance room. I guess we're done here or is there more... I mean... Oh, there's a thing here I guess. Is there? Clicked on it. There's no water coming out. Yeah, that's fortunate, isn't it? Okay then. It's all frozen. But okay, so we're done with this. Hopefully the camera's frozen as well. That would not go well. Alright, so we have all this crap to look at. There's a drill. How a drilling. stationary drill. A metal bit is in it. Check the drill right of the door and the bench vise on the counter. Check the open cabinet armoire and get the tapper piece of something and silicon. Let's see here. Can we just take this? It, it works! Cool. Okay, so... Yeah, check that thing there. A vise. Standard equipment in any shop that has at least half the equipment it needs. There's a thing there. That's the armoire. I'll take everything with me that is not on the trees by the time I count to three. Dun dun dun. Extra crunchy. Okay, take the metal plate beside the silicon. What? Beside, beside the vise. There's a metal plate. Oh. A metal plate. And that goes to hyperspace as well. Yep, it is gone. Okay. And the master key right of the locked door. This here? It's mine now. I am Seagull. Yay. Okay, check the incubator on the left wall. There's an egg in there. Hopefully not from LV426. A single egg is visible through the plate of glass. The machine can probably be opened with key commands. I do not know the number combination. And if I just simply break the glass, then the contents will probably be destroyed by the falling glass splinters. Yeah, it could be bad for the egg. So, is it a penguin egg or what? Open the lock door. Use the master key on the lock and see that the lock is iced over. The key needs to be heated. Wonderful. Place the metal plate on the drill. So, okay, we can do that to get that out of the way. The lock is completely iced over. I can't get the key into it. Okay, so we saw that. Anything else here if I from that? Okay, we can look at this stuff some more again. Okay, place the metal plate on the drill. Use the drill. Place toilet paper over the metal plate. So we're going to... Use that as a friction ignition source. Use the drill and the paper will burn. 
extra crispy. The sparks from the drill set the paper on fire. Okay, use the piece of something on the vise to get a bent piece of something. What? Wait, what? Use the drill of paper will burn. Use a piece of something on the vise to get a bent piece of something. Alrighty, there we go with getting the bent piece of something. I think the toilet paper would probably be burned up already. But now we have a bent piece of something. Combine the bent piece of something with the key to get that the piece of metal and key. So now we can heat up the key with the burning paper. I'm going to freeze to death pretty soon, but at least the key is nice and warm now. That is a consolation. Alright then, now we have that to use. hot key is melting the ice, so the lock is now open. Okay then. And there's silicone there. Okay. Exit to the ramp area. We are going. Oh wow, this is a missile silo or something? Wonderful. So, this is the ramp. Look at the keypad that needs numbers. Door on the other side, and the metal spikes. I don't have the slightest clue what I should enter. And what happens if I enter the wrong combination too many times? I should look around for clues first. Yeah. Okay. Enter the lit room on the left, it says. Or let's see. Look at the keypad that needs numbers. Door on the other side. Let's see here. Metal spikes. What a strange design. I think I read somewhere that stuff like this was used to protect sensitive equipment from radio interference. How am I supposed to get across? Fly? Yes. A freight elevator. But there doesn't appear to be a way to summon the elevator up from here. Okay. So that's fun. Alrighty then. So we have... Enter the lit room on the left. We're going to that one. I think both are illuminated, but oh, it is. This appears to be something like a control room. And what is that down there? A cutscene, woo. But it's not the end. Problem solved? Not quite. But at least I found our saboteur. There was a terrible, regrettable accident just now. That's too bad. What's going on with the water? That isn't important right now. I need you here. Odin, may I introduce you to Professor Charleroi, our scientific leader? Pleased to meet you. Yeah, sure. Save it. We don't have time. The boss will be here soon, and I want to have everything ready to go by then. Oleg Sergei and this Nicole Charlera seem to be like a kind of complete assembly of all the human scum on Earth. Right now, I'm really tempted to jump through the window and send all three of them to... But what are they doing down there? And what kind of machine is that? I don't know for sure what is going on here, but I'm really sure that it is something quite nasty. And this I know. As soon as I get even the slightest chance, I will mess up their plans, but big. Yep. Okay, so we can read in the lion's den in the diary if we want. Look at the TV screen, VHS, and levers, yada yada. So, TV screen. A huge plasma screen. What do they need all those video recorders for? None of them has a cassette inside. Mm, wonderful. Um. They all appear to be very busy down there. I should take advantage of it. Yep. None of the monitors shows anyone. It's probably possible to switch from one room to another somehow, but I can't find the right knobs. It all looks terribly complicated, at least for someone who knows frighteningly little about it. There are 3,000 switches here, and not one is labeled. I'm not even going to try it. That is an annoying way to make things impossible by making them arbitrary. 
Oh ah, well. Uh, looks like this is a thing we can look through. With an explosion hazard sign. A single piece of explosive is still in there. I think I'll take it with me. That's a real blast. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that'll do something. Okay, exit the room and go to the stairs at the right. Here we go, here we go again. Alright. Onward to the walking. <sighs> okay, so here's this stuff. Alright, so entrance. Check the water pump uh, machine on the left. I think that's a water pump. It's not running though. I assume it is responsible for the running water and the heating. That's probably why it's so cold in here. So we applied the grenade to that. No, oh well. The silicone. The tapper. The plunger. Okay, nope, none of those. Alright, so there's this thing here, a switch. Do we want to press the button of doom? Nothing is happening. Maybe the switch is broken. What isn't broken? That is the question. The freight elevator does not appear to be very stable. One of the cables has already broken, and the one next to it doesn't look like it is going to last much longer either. <laughs> the platform hangs too high. I can't reach the stuff. Let's see, what's all this business then? We have planks. And what's this? Snow? Salt. Salt. Probably from the bag up there. Ah, cool. That little bit is just enough for a breakfast egg. That is way more than you need for a breakfast egg. Unless are you eating like a brontosaurus egg? A completely normal fishing rod without any kind of frills, but rather robust. It is mine now. Okay, so we take the fishing rod. Rain is not dressed to go outside in the Antarctic. That's the way outside. I'm already freezing my butt off in here, and it's not going to be any warmer out there. Ten polar bears couldn't get me out of here while I'm wearing these clothes. Alright, can we use the fishing rod on anything? Not here. Alright, we go back over there. Ah, the joy. Joy, joy, joy. So, let's see. Ramp. Climb up the stairs to the ramp. Use the fishing rod on the platform below of the right elevator shaft. Fish and get winter clothes, which Nina automatically wears. So, okay. We are fishing for clothes there. Maybe I can pick up one of the lighter packs. So, we're getting ready for Tau Volantis chilly anyone winter clothing that's a nice catch much better already very cool okay so here's her new outfit dress for Canada not quite Antarctica but close okay so fishing in and get laundry ball whatever that is Come on, see what we can get. Wonder if this could go on indefinitely. It's probably only the two items that it says here. So it's a ball of laundry. Terry cloth bedding, a whole stack of it. Whatever am I supposed to do with it? Make a parachute so we can jump across. I don't know. Let's see if there is anything more. The other step on the platform is too heavy to be able to pull it up with the fishing rod. Oh, that sucks. Okay, outside the entrance. Check the research station, the snow crawler on the left. Okay, we can go outside now. Because we got the outside clothes of insanity. I mean, can we put these on for extra insulation? Nope. Okay. Definitely would want a hat out there. Definitely. Even on the driveways on Sundays. Somebody please tell me that I'm dreaming. Just where am I? Antarctica? Nobody is ever going to find me here. I can forget about that. Okay, check the research station snow crawler on the left and the forest of antennae on the right. Pick up the bucket. We have a bucket. A 10 liter bucket. 
It is going into hyperspace. You know, I wish I had a TARDIS for a backpack. A 10 liter bucket. That is what it has, okay. Building the station probably cost a lot of money. Somebody must be counting on getting a lot of profits. A huge field full of these strange things. I assume that they contain antennas, but what do you do with them? Receive signals or send signals? The power consumption of this facility must be gargantuan. Like hamsters. A huge field full of... So that's just that again. Just how did they get all that heavy equipment here? It must have been a huge Ooh. logistical effort. Giant helicopters. The size of space hamsters or something. Who knows? Anyway, I'm so tired. So let's see here. Left of field. See what's on that side. And then we'll go to the other side next. Right. We're going to left of screen. Check the penguin. Looks like it is sitting. Hatching something. A warning sign. Caution. Precipice. Do we want to steal the sign? Is it mine now? Yay, we have a sign. Here's your sign. There's someone lying there. Hello? Are you hurt? Hello? Mm -hmm. I almost fear that he's dead. Funny that someone should fall into the glacier's precipice who probably knows his way around here. Plus, there was a warning sign. Just a moment. It could, of course, be that he had a little help when he fell. I believe these people here are capable of that. Yep. It almost looks as if they let the poor guy die in misery down there. I really have to watch out. A human life does not appear to be worth much out here. Well, it's worth the same everywhere. It's just a matter of some jerks or jerks about everything. The penguin seems to be sitting on something. He's probably hatching something. Yep. Hello. So, anything else to do? I took this sign. Okay, the there's... The shield was stuck in there. Oh, can we use that to get fish? I mean, there's not a lake under there right now. Oh, well. I, well, that would be the ocean if it were. But, anyway. Well, cool penguin. Onward to the other thing, I guess. Alright, to... Or wait. It's just walking over there. Let's go to here. Wow! An old whaling ship, completely enclosed in ice. I wonder how long that has been here. So we got to the saboteur thing. Look at the hole by the sign. Ex insert the explosive in the hole. Wait, we're supposed to do that over there. We're supposed to insert the grenade there. Alright. We're supposed to get fish for the penguin or something. Yeah, it'd be cool if Antarctica has ever colonized. They have like buckets of refrigerated but like you know still not frozen solid but like fish for them so it's so they could have like more of their colonies maybe put some like wind trap type things there too but yeah they get the grenade there maybe run out of the way I'd run a little faster Wow what an explosion it appears that it even triggered a small avalanche but it didn't appear to bother the penguin. Okay, so now, let's see here, get to the check this sign, insert the explosive, go down the crevasse and check the dead man, take the amulet. Alrighty then, we can go there I guess, somehow. I would still not be a good place to be, but now we can check all that. I know that robbing dead bodies is frowned upon in upper circles, but I cannot do anything for him anymore. He, however, could perhaps still be helpful. Yep, all your loot is belong to me. So now that's that. Read the diary and inventory. A couple torn out pages. They're entitled Research Journal of Nicole Charleroi. I don't think that this information will help me right now, but I might at least understand better how everything ties together. 
Here's some things to pause and read if you want to. So that's it. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here or if there's anything more to do. Oh, we can look there. This goes down so deep, I can't even guess where the bottom is. Doomland, where there's all free doom for everyone. Let's see if we can get up. Probably not at that angle. That seems highly improbable. The penguin seems to be sitting on something. He's prob- Yeah, that's probably something we have to replace with the actual egg. Or maybe this. Let's see. Do you want to sit on this? Probably not. Okay. So now we go. Alright. Whaling, si whaling ship. Exit back out to outside the research station and go right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over here. So see a whaling ship check the hole in ice and the harpoon look at barrel of whale oil all right there's a barrel of whale oil how wonderful look at jacket hanging above it the barrel whale oil people also used to use it as lamp oil and lubricant it's a little heavy not even female russian shop putters can carry that okay can we do anything with the harpoon of doom? A stationary harpoon. The things have an enormous penetrative ability and a relatively large operational range. Can't fight against a Klingon bird what of prey though. What am I supposed though. to fire at? Anything. I haven't really been fun. able to find that many real potential targets here yet. You, know, you have Oleg. Oh, there's the coat. You can always layer up. The jacket is frozen stiff, but it appears that there is still something in the side pocket. You always bring it indoors and let it warm up. So there's a flask, probably a vodka or something. Go back inside now. Climb upstairs to the ramp. Drop the laundry ball in the whale oil. What? Where are we going? Open the hole in the ice. Dip the laundry ball in the barrel to get whale oil. So where's the laundry ball? There it is. So we can do that. Okay. So now we have whale oil soaked laundry ball. Wonderful. And we got the flask with the corp go back inside. What? Dip the laundry ball. Look at the jacket. Go back inside. Climb upstairs to the ramp. Drop the laundry ball and whale oil down into the not too stable. What? What are we doing? So we're going back inside the thing. Oh, come on. Sometimes reading these makes me wonder if I've had a stroke. But, yeah, walking by that hole in the ice, that's a brilliant thing to do. Okay, well, let's go back there. Are we getting the salt? Or what are we doing? Okay, so we're supposed to drop the laundry ball in whale oil down to the not too stable platform at the right elevator shaft, see it break, go down and see that more salt spilled out. Okay, so we're supposed to plop this here? Or what? Do we need to get out of the way so we can actually do that? Okay. Oh my word. Are we supposed to plop it on this? I leave behind yet another trail of devastation. Awesome. More devastation, yay. Okay, so now we can use the bucket and get ice. Well, the thing that melts ice, the salt. Okay. So now we can go out there, use a bucket of salt on the ice. This will take some time. Go back inside. Step in time. Okay. So 
up, plop, there goes salt. Harvested from YouTube comment sections. Well, it will probably take some time until the salt has eaten its way through the ice. Yep. Alrighty then. So, we're supposed to go back inside, go up the ramp and enter the bottle middle, middle room. Remember that the penguin is sitting on something. Let's work on the penguin, it says. Probably that. Okay, so we're going to this room here. Alrighty, then let's see here. Use the plunger on the glass of the incubator. Use the amulet on the glass. Okay, plunger. And use the amulet. Probably it always looks so simple in detective stories. Plunger on the glass. Cut it with a diamond and... It really is simple. Alright, now we have an egg for the penguin. Okay. So we did that. Take the strange egg now. Uh, go to the open hole at the whaling ship area and inventory. Combine the fishing pole and the lighter to get the fishing rod with bait lighter fishing rod with the lighter to get that how does that even make the lighter sense? could serve as a blinker substitute and lead all in one it's definitely worth a try lead okay yeah it's reflective like fish scales all right that's the idea so we're doing that to get fish Okay. All right, so here we go with fishing in the Antarctic. Extra chilly. will happen eventually. That was easier than I thought it would be. Okay, yeah. You would have frozen before you found got, found, got something. But this is a game. The best fishing simulator in a game I've played so far is in Far Cry 5 with um, that area where you have to... Just how did they get all that heavy equipment here? I forget her name. But, you know, the one where you have to help her with the boyfriend that's destroyed her stuff or something. But, uh, yeah, fish to penguin. Maybe I can distract it with some fish. Okay. Okay, see if we can get that. It doesn't like it that I stole his offspring. I'll put the egg back down. I have enough enemies here as it is. Okay. Can we click on the other thing with that? This appears to be made of metal. Why is a part like this just lying around here? And why is the penguin trying to hatch it? Can we replace this now? At least now the poor little guy has a real chance of seeing something come out of that egg. Okay, so we got that now. Okay, so we have to do it, look at it first before it allows us to do that. Okay, fine now. Entrance, go to the water pump and place the metal egg on the niche middle of the machine. The water pump comes on. So now we can do that. Wonderful. It's 
almost makes me want to play the game Distrust again, except I don't like the time limits. It f makes me feel rushed, you know? It fits, and the machine is also starting to work again. Cool. Alright, so now that the water is on, let's see what the camera has in store. Climb up the stairs to the ramp, go to the center maintenance room, and then the room right of right of the maintenance room. What? Right of the maintenance room? Oh yeah, the place that they plopped her in. Well, this would be a bad time for them to show up again. Okay, so... Go to that and that. Turn on the faucet to fill the tub. Go next door. Use the flask on the drill. The tub is missing. The water is going to drain right out again. Okay, so what is it? Go next door. Use the flask on the drill. Click drill and get the cork. So yeah, we have to. Um, we have to plug it. All right, so go away, that kind of thing, something. All right, activating that. So, hold the cork in style. All right, so now we have that to use with the tub, right? Use cork on bathtub, yep. And now it can fill up and freeze, something like that. It even reasonably fits into the drain. That should stop the water from draining. And we're living in a winter wonderland. Yay! The tub is full. Woohoo! Okay, now we exit and let it freeze over kind of thing. Go back to the entrance and take the metal egg from the water pump. No need to do the baddies a favor. So they can't use it on her. Put her in a shower or something hypothermia type deal. So yeah, I'm gonna take that away from them. Oh wait, this is where we're from. We've got to go over to that side. That's where it's at. Okay. Metal Too egg is... Too bad actually. It was just about to get nice and warm. Yeah. Okay. So, go back to the shower room and the water is frozen. Click on camera to climb up and reach up to get a VHS tape. In the camera. They can't have the VH VCRs with having the tapes at a remote location like I'm pretty sure they normally do. But I guess it's some philosophy of design that's kind of stupid but not improbable that someone would invent. So, yep, now we can get that. I hope that the ice will hold me. Well. Now we have the VHS tape from the 90s. The camera has been screwed on tight, but at least I could remove the strap. We have a strap that's from the camera as well. Okay, well, we can go to the VCRs at least, or VCPs, even if they don't record. Presumably they'd record, but presumably you'd have a central recording location rather than... Uh, it says VCR, not VCP. So it's video cassette recorder rather than just a video cassette player. Oh, there is something else on the tape. A remainder of another recording. That is it not the like same the camera. right next door. This Nicole Charlera is having a discussion with a really elegantly dressed guy. Unfortunately, his back is to the camera. But I could swear that it's... What's going on down there? Rich guy. Showing up to see rich stuff. I heard we are ready. Yes, apart from a few small details, everything is ready. Thanks to the Flop. artifact, we were able to quickly bring the radiation fields to the desired level. So I was right. About the artifact? 
about you, Professor Charleroi. Your team has truly done magnificent work. And Sergei, Oleg, you also deserve a lot of praise. Thank you. Is he gonna shoot it him was now? an honor for us. But enough self-congratulations. We still have a lot to do. Mankind is waiting for us to relieve them from a few decisions. Massimo Gartuso? If he's involved in this, it must be a really big thing. And if he goes to the ends of the world just for this, then I'd rather not dwell on how big this thing is. Realistically, there are only two possibilities. Either I make sure there is a super big noise, or I die clandestinely, quietly, and unnoticed. And since I definitely do not feel like dying, I should think of something that makes a huge kaboom. Only I probably won't be able to do much by myself. I need help, and I need it fast. Okay. A huge plasma screen. A huge plasma screen. A huge plasma screen. What do they need all those video recorders for? Oh, my word. It all looks terribly complicated, at least for someone who knows frighteningly little about it. Okay, well, that's fun. We watched it. Ramp, go outside the ramp and enter the number seen on the picture in the keypad stand 2513. Hopefully we saw that elsewise. This will be a pain. I assume that by entering numbers, one can extend a bridge to the room on the other side. Yep. Let's hope we can actually enter the 2513. Two. Two. Five. One. Three. Done it. I wonder what is waiting for me in that room over there. Hopefully not doom. Probably not, though. Here we go, though. Alright, so here's the thing. Okay, help is coming. Go forward to the radar room. Look around and take the beacon and matches from the crate. Here's the crate. Full of fireworks. I think I'll take a couple with me. And probably the matches, too. Yay. Alright. Look at the radar and see a plane is coming. There is something in the close vicinity of the research station. Most likely an airplane. Maybe they can come and get me out of here. I just have to get their attention somehow. Alright. So let's go. We need to go to the whaling ship, it says. Click on the beacon, click the beacon on the harpoon and find out that the beacon's wick is wet. Use the beacon on the whale oil barrel. Use the beacon with whale oil on the harpoon. Okay. I'm thinking I'll be stopping shortly. This is already lasting forever. But yeah, let's get that so we can actually... The matches burn well, but the fuse doesn't. It probably got wet at some point in time. Okay, so now the barrel there. I wouldn't walk that close to the hole in the ice, although it's probably frozen over by now since the tub did too. But yeah, still. Hopefully the fuses will work again if I pour the whale oil over them. Well, it's... No, but maybe, I don't know. There we go. And use, okay, it did that automatically. We didn't need to use the matches. The C-130. Okay, watch the black robes need to sit to, sit, to say the least. After the tantrum, Max gives the cell phone to Nina and they will work together in the control room. Here's hoping I don't have to mute this because that would be a pain. Shut up. 
Max! So Oleg was right. Uh, it's not what you think. Typical statement from a man. They aren't our enemies. They want to help us. I've had my fill lately of people who allegedly want to help me. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry about Oleg. How do you How know? How did you know? Later. These men have brought me here to... So you are in cahoots with them. They're the same guys who were seen in the museum by the janitor and the little girl when my father was kidnapped, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and the sect did actually kidnap your father. But for his own protection. Don't worry. He's mm. fine. For his protection? From people like you? You played me for a sucker and were working with these guys the entire time. No, when I got back from Ireland, the sect also kidnapped me. Then they explain how everything fits together. I've never seen these guys before that. You have to believe me. Do I? During his investigation into the Tunguska catastrophe, your father stumbled onto something that has to be kept secret at all costs. The existence the of has done everything it can to make sure this secret doesn't fall into the wrong hands. And what is that? The people believe that they are the offspring of aliens from outer space. Oh, God. And the Tunguska catastrophe was caused by a nuclear-powered interstellar spaceship that crashed while trying to rescue its last living survivors from Earth. Bullshit! Psst. Don't tell me you believe that. I don't know what I should believe anymore. Do you remember your encounter with the sect? In Tunguska? Yes. It was pretty weird. The fact is that in the summer of 1908, an unidentified object was annihilated in a detonation as powerful as a modern hydrogen bomb. But they found no crater and no remains. Then these strange fragments appeared years later. Your father examined them and discovered that they were made from materials that didn't come from Earth, but were processed. The Kalenkov report? Exactly. Then the military got a hold of the material and your father was prohibited from doing any more research. When he and Manuel Perez took off again for the Tunguska region, he would be frozen already. Perez accidentally became a victim of an experiment that the military was conducting with the extraterrestrial object there. Your father realizes how dangerous the material is, but he continues to do research despite, or maybe because of it, until he comes across evidence of the Zopa, whose abandoned caves Zopa. he discovers in China. There he discovers artifacts that consist of the same extraterrestrial material as the fragments from the Tunguska region. A strange connection, don't you think? And one of the artifacts is here now, delivered personally by Nina Kalenkov. The station belongs to a man named Massimo Gartuso. Have you ever heard his name before? Billionaire. Divorced three times. Devastatingly handsome. You can ask him for an autograph in a second. What? He's here. I saw him below in the station. Hopefully we aren't too late. He bought shares in all the telecommunication companies through middlemen and will soon control the entire mobile network. So what? Are you afraid that the prices per minute will go up? Be serious for a second, Nina. Don't you have any idea what they're planning here? Think about Perez's accident, the psychiatric clinic in Cuba, the French female scientist, and the Russians' animal experiments. Give me a hint. They are working on a technology that will manipulate thoughts. Oh, it's called come Facebook. on. First you come to me with, with these aliens, and now this? It sounds inconceivable, I know. But research into this technology is nothing new. As far as I know, no one has been successful yet. But with this extraterrestrial material... Do you think that Massimo Gartuso will go to so much trouble if the artifact was merely of value archaeologically? The sect believes that he is about to implement this technology. And you can imagine what will happen then. So, do you trust these people? More than I trust this Gartuso. And what are you planning to do? The sect will take care of detonating the transmitter, and we have to find a way to disrupt the experiment itself. Are you familiar with the layout in there? Is there maybe a control room or something like that? Sure. Follow me and try to be inconspicuous. Yes, sir. Oh, before I forget, I found your cell phone in the caves in China. I thought you'd probably need it. In case you want to call me after all this is finished. I know your number by heart. So, the elevator should be working again. But maybe we should wait until the sect members have detonated the antenna. And if not, we still have the element of surprise on our side. So you really want to go down there? Yes. Now let's go. Here you could put a fire hose into the window. Damn, what just happened? The elevator appears to still be working, as do some of the doors, but I can't open the other ones. Nina, can you hear me? Just great. I have to get the doors open as soon as possible or we'll have a real problem. 
We've had more than enough of those already. Hopefully Nina will wait for me and won't do anything stupid. But if I know her, she probably will. Whoa. Max doesn't seem to hear me through the door. Now what? Hopefully he'll get the door open again. But I can't really wait for him to do it. We have no time to lose. Maybe that elevator still works. Then I can look around a little downstairs. All right. Finally, the cutscenes are over. Here's hoping I don't have copyrighted music to worry about. It didn't seem to last that long, so... That's always a pain, though. It's like, good grief. Why do they have to do that? In some games, some games they do that. And it's like, please? Can you not? It shouldn't be, you know? It really shouldn't be. Oh well. Game over, man. Game over. Getting back to it the next time. Should be able to finish everything in the next go. But for now, I'm done with this. Take care. And try not to go crazy. And beware the space hamsters of doom. Doom, doom, doom.